So you've purchased Star Wars Empire at War Gold Pack on Steam, and now you want to download, install, and play mods. Hello everybody, Genesis King here, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in two different ways. The first being the, I guess we'll call it traditional, and the second being the most convenient way to play mods for Star Wars Empire War. First off, I just want to say, if you don't have the Steam version, this is not going to work for you. And also, if you have Star Wars Empire War, maybe you purchased it on GOG, any, any of these other platforms, or heck, even have the old school disc version of the game, I do think it's worth it to hop on over to the Steam store and pay the, I think it's about $20, 20 US dollars right now, um, to pay that money to get the convenience and ability to play these mods. Like I said, first way we are going to play the mods today uh, number one, obviously, you're going to have to go to the workshop and you're going to have to download the mods. So I'm just on the main screen here. Most popular mods all time. You can see the classics. Thrawn's Revenge, Fall of the Republic, Republic at War, Awakening of the Rebellion, Empire at War Remake. Once you go in and download the mods, you'll navigate back to your library. Uh, and obviously, you will play the game. When you pop this up, you want to make sure you select Forces of Corruption. Otherwise these mods will not work, and then the game will launch. So once the game has loaded in, we'll skip that intro for convenience sake today, you see the old school Forces of Corruption expansion screen. What you want to do uh, is you want to go over and go to Options, Mods, and then you can select any of the mods that you have downloaded from the Steam Workshop. That's a bit clunky, it takes you loading in, and then you gotta load another mod. So next, I'm gonna show you the most convenient way to play the mods that you have downloaded from Steam. Okay, so we are back over in the Steam library, and what you want to do to make this super, super easy is this. You're gonna go to Add Game, add a non-Steam game, uh, and then you're gonna get this little pop-up. You're looking for the Star Wars Empire War.exe. So you'll click Browse, and conveniently enough here, um, I am already on that file location. Basically, the first time you do this to find it, you just need to know where your Steam library is. Navigate through that Steam apps, common Star Wars Empire at War, and then go into the corruption folder. Uh, mine's on the D drive. Yours might be on C. It just kind of depends. And you're going to want to select the Star Wars G.exe. Double click that and you can see that we've got it selected here. So then we're going to click add selected programs. So we just have to find it. And there it is. Next, you're going to want to get one very important thing. So we're going to go back to the community tab to the workshop. Let's say I want to do this for Thrawn's Revenge, and this works for literally any of the mods. We're just using this as an example. You're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to find the mod or the Steam mod number which conveniently they've placed in the description here. Um, I believe this is also, if you go to the URL, uh, it's going to be these last digits of the URL. So you can see that in the URL, this Steam mod ID, the numbers here, the 112557-11106, those do match up exactly. So we're going to right click. We are going to copy that because I don't remember if I did earlier. And we're going to navigate back to our library. The next thing we're going to do is right click on our Star Wars G uh, that is over here and we are going to go to properties and then in launch options, we are going to want to paste that Steam mod number. Then you can come up here and you can rename it to whatever you want. Uh, so my naming convention uh, is EAW uh, Thrawns. We'll just do that for now uh, and then we can close that out now. Over here, you see that the name has changed. Uh, I'm going to drag this up into my Empire at War little filter up here. And then all you have to do to play Thrawn's Revenge uh, is click on it. See if that's what's up here. Click play. And it is going to load you directly into that specific mod. As I mentioned before, you can do this for literally any of the mods on Steam. Uh, and it's it's more convenient. You should do it this way. As I mentioned earlier, if you don't have the Steam version of Empire War and you want to play mods, yeah, you can go to ModDB, but you really need to do it this way. Hope today's video has helped you guys. I know it was really amazing when I finally figured out 
how to do this. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And coming up here, I also have Empire War content if you want to check that out. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.